Hi everyone, this is Kiri with another layout for Bramble Fox and this month I'm using the August Fox box which is coming up very very soon and the Arrows version 3 set that's available in the shop now. So I've pulled out the um, Vicky Booten Sweet Rush collection and I have two of the pattern papers here and I can't quite decide which ones I want to use and you will have just seen it went by quite quickly I'm using the Loving Life lime green title perspective from the August Fox box along oh there you go um it's just showing up there I keep covering it up um along with the um the, the sunglasses or glasses and um, they are actually the subscriber exclusive for the August Fox box and I was just sort of looking for something that sort of coordinated with those and obviously these pattern papers have some really nice greens in them but I couldn't quite decide which way to go so I've obviously cut out the semicircle piece and I'm now cutting out the sort of rows the strips from this one and I'm just playing around and deciding where I'm going to go with it so you'll see me sort of moving things around I can't quite decide what orientation I might go with for the um for the stripes and I'm still sort of thinking about the circle whether I'm going to use that across the the, the um, layout or down the side I honestly move these these two types these two pack here we go I've got the circle now I honestly move these around quite a bit anyway let's move on so I've decided to stick with the stripes I really like the sort of combination of the the sort of greens the soft sort of tones um, with a combination of some of the sort of yellows and sort of peachy oranges I thought it would sort of work really nicely with the photo um, that I have um, so I'm just now pulling out some of the matching ephemera and just sort of working out what I'm going to do because I'm sort of going to create some clusters um, around sort of the top left and along the top of the photo and then around the top bottom right corner as well and then I'm going to get a cluster down on the bottom left of the layout also so I'm sort of pulling out the different pieces and just working out which ones I want to go with and again I'm sticking to the sort of same colorway the greens the yellows and the oranges so now that I've pulled some of them out, I'm just going to trim off some of that excess white. Um, it's totally your own choice whether you do this sort of thing, but I do. Some of these ephemera have quite wide, wide white border and I do like to trim that down. So I've now done all of that. I obviously saved you watching it. Um, and I have also um, cut a small corner for the opposite corner for the layout using those um, stripes from that main pattern paper so I'm just distressing the edges just sort of lifting the edges up slightly in fact I did actually try on another piece to cut and roll because um, I do really like that effect of the rolled sort of edges on you know strips like this and I thought oh that could work really quite well but you can see the background the pattern paper on the other side which obviously once I started doing it it showed up and I just found that just too dark and too heavy so it just really didn't work for me so I'm just sticking with distressing the edges um, and then just sort of lifting them up slightly so you get a little bit of dimension. So both of those pieces are now stuck down. I'm going to get my photo mounted onto another piece of pattern paper. I'm just working out where to um, stick that on that piece, just trying to keep to the sort of more yellowy, greeny type tones, but just something that just sort of slightly stands out from the background. Again, I'm distressing the edges. And then I'm just going to work out where that's going to go. I'm adding some sticky foam tape to the top edge only and then keep it flat on the bottom edge. Now I'm sort of moving my loving life per, um, perspective around a bit. Can't quite decide where that's going to go and it does move around a little bit before I get it stuck down. So again, I'm sort of placing back in the ephemera that I fussy cut and obviously had to move to get the background stuck down um, and just sort of working my way through where that's all going to sit. And I think I'm... Um, I'm adding a little bit of that sort of the, the sort of slightly darker blue leaves because I've got a corner flower cluster for the bottom left that I wanted to use that has those slightly darker blue leaves so I just wanted to bring a bit of that into the clusters around the photo. Okay so I think that that top cluster is um, set down now I've got that stuck to down and I'm working on that bottom left so I've got the as I said the floral cluster that sort of orange slice and I'm sticking it flat, but only in the center. So I sort of still get a bit of dimension around that. And then I've got a couple of small fussy cut orange flowers. I also have that sort of 
journaling um, piece that I was trying to sort of work into it. But I kept having a look and decided that it looked slightly odd with the stripes going up. So it was just too big, it felt. So I don't, I didn't add that in. So getting those stuck down and now I'm going to work on that bottom right cluster um, under the photo. So again, sticking down just in the center and then I will sort of lift up the edges as I go. Um, some of these pieces of ephemera are really big actually and so it's just figuring out how to sort of work them in but I find just tucking them in a little bit further just makes it, they, they work fine then. Um, again, just pulling out a few more bits and pieces, just trying to work out where they're going to go. Little yellow flowers, there's a lime slice, another one of the little fussy cut orange flowers that I did as well. So just make it, just bringing those sort of pops of orange and yellow in around all of the sort of greenery that I've added. Getting the um, glasses stuck down, I'm using glossy accents for that to give it a nice strong hold. Um, and they are as I think I've mentioned, the exclusive for subscribers in this month, uh, month's coming um, August Fox Box. I've also pulled out the Arrows version 3 set. Um, that's also available in the shop right now because they had the lovely sort of gr sim the matching um, gr uh, lime green arrows and, um, that, and stars. So I just pulled a couple of those out and tucked um, the stars in around the clusters around the photo and I will add in a few of the arrows as well. Right, I'm obviously fiddling around with this title, trying to work out where it's going to go. But I do decide in the end to bring it down below the photo a little more um, and sort of get it in between the two. Um, I keep looking at now that I'm looking at it, I keep going, oh, maybe it would have been, I would have been better further up. I don't know. It's always one of those things you question. But anyway, it's stuck down now. So I'm going to add in my um, journaling lines and um, I've obviously got the journaling now done and I just felt I needed something there um, across the two and there was this little cute sort of yellow banner and I thought I think I'm just going to try that, just sort of layer that in there. It felt like I had a bit of a gap there. So it sort of just brings the two elements, two sides together. Um, and then I'm just going through the stickers and the puffy stickers that also match the, from the Sweet uh, Rush collection and just adding a few of those. So I'm adding in a word, a phrase sticker at the bottom left, today's moments of tomorrow's memories. And I'll also add in this is the good life and just chilling. And then I'll bring in happy memories and happy day to the right photo cluster and a few puffy stickers. I'm um, just moving around those green arrows as well um, and figuring out where they're going to go. But because I've added in those um, little phrase stickers, the arrows, I had initially thought I'd put the arrows there. So I do actually add those in two slightly different places. And that's that's pretty much there where they're going to sit. Um, though I still can't decide. Um, they will get stuck down shortly. And then I'm pretty much, I think I'm pretty much done. Once I've got these stuck down, I think there's a few more puffy stickers I add in. But a close-up of the final layout will be coming up in just a moment. Okay, here you go. And some close-ups of the fabulous August Fox Box Perspectives and the Arrows version 3 set. And don't forget, pop on over to bramblefox.co.uk where you can sign up to the monthly Fox Box subscription. And they've just launched a new um, subscription um, offer. It's um, a new one. It's almost like a, it's the Fox Box Plus. And as well as new perspectives each month, you'll also get the latest stencil, paper snips and the DIY epoxy flare stickers. So pop on over to the website for all the details. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you again soon.